Arion Knighton, remember the name. World Athletics posted an image of the 18-year-old American sprinter in June of 2021 after Knighton managed to break the world under-18 record for the fastest sprint at the U.S. Olympics trial. Now the team who shattered Usain Bolt's junior record is aiming to break another Bolt's 200-meter world record clocked at 19.19 seconds at the Olympics. More on Knighton, his career highlights, and where he'll go from here in today's video. Starting with, is Arion Knighton the fastest man alive? No, Knighton isn't the fastest man in the world, but contrary to popular phrase, the 18-year-old isn't at number 4th by a long shot. If anything, he's only a tenth a second behind Usain Bolt, Johan Blake, and Michael Johnson. Knighton is, however, the fastest sprinter in the world under 18 category. In May of 2021, the 18-year-old set the record for the world under 18 in the boys category. Knighton improved on Bolt's score by two hundredths of a second, clocking in at 20.11 seconds. Previously, Knighton broke the record for the 10-second barrier at the Pure Athletics Sprint Meet in Florida, clocking at 9.99 seconds. The sprinter's May 2nd best wasn't classified as a record since it went against record-setting guidelines, the wind speed at 2.7 per second velocity, the limit is 2.0. Knighton began participating in track and field events when he was a freshman at Hillsborough High School. The young sprinter set a Florida best time at the USA Track and Field Junior Olympics in 2019 for 20.33 seconds. Previously, the sprinter had played for the Hillsboro football team and was rated a four-star circuit by 247 Sports. Back in 2021, Knighton qualified for the 2020 Summer Olympics after beating his own record twice. In June, he improved it to 19.88, beating Bolt's record by five hundredths of a second, and then finally setting it at 19.84 and qualifying for the Summer Olympics. Moving on, will Knighton become the next Bolt? Usain Bolt is largely regarded as the fastest man alive. The Jamaican sprinter has set records in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4 by 100 meters on several occasions. Bolt's career started while he was still young after his cricket coach noticed his speed on the pitch. The sprinter then would go on to compete in multiple 100-meter races at William Nib Memorial High School before being scouted for the world stage in 2001. Knighton, on the other hand, has only recently started his sprinting career, previously a football star at Hillsboro High School. The American sprinter has only managed to break Bolt's record in the under-18 100-meter division. At the 2020 Summer Olympics, Knighton's finished fourth in the 200-meter race, cloaking in a frighteningly high time of 19.33 seconds. But Bolt's career best in the 200-meter race was 19.19 seconds, while Knighton might be in Bolt's heels literally, he's a better contemporary for his compatriot, Michael Johnson. Johnson is a four-time Olympic event winner with a 1996 world record in the Atlanta Olympics 200-meter race, clocking in at 19.32 seconds. Johnson has Knighton beat by one hundredth of a second. The current world rankings place Bolt at number one, his compatriot Blake at number two, Johnson at number three, and Knighton at number four. Of all the men on this list, Knighton is the only sprinter who hasn't retired. Bolt retired in 2017. What's more, do experts think Knighton has what it takes? Bolt announced his retirement at the 2017 World Championships. After he finished third in his last solo 100-meter race, the sprinter was said to compete in all three track events, the 100-meter, the 200-meter, and the 4x100-meter race, but he opted out of the 200-meter race and pulled up an injury on the 4x100-meter race. That same year, the fastest man in the world had a statue of himself erected at the National Stadium in Kingston featuring his signature, Lightning Bolt Stance. The Jamaican sprinter's retirement was said to have left a gaping hole in the world of track and field when Sebastian Cole, the president of the IAAF, was asked if he believed Bolt could ever be replaced. Cole responded by asking if Muhammad Ali could ever be replaced, a testament to how experts believed no one could ever come close to Bolt's career highlights. But Arion Knighton did it. Knighton became the youngest American male to compete at an Olympic event in 2021 at the age of 17. 
Jim Ruyun had previously been the youngest American track nominee in 1964. Experts are hopeful about the American sprinter while he might still be away from breaking Bolt's record. They've noted that Knighton is on a rapid streak. Pun intended. It took Bolt four years to improve on his own record. It took Knighton six months. Knighton has a lot of time on his hands to beat Bolt's record. The track star is only 18. Not to mention, is Knighton on his way to success already? Arion Knighton has been improving on his time since the 2020 Summer Olympics. In September of 2022, Knighton bounced back with a win in the 200 meter race in the Brussels Diamond League. The sprinter had placed six in the Lausanne the week before, but managed to win the top prize just a few days later. The Brussels Diamond League is the final meet of the season before Knighton will head over for the two day final in Zurich. The American sprinter clocked in 20.07 seconds beating Dominican Republic's Alexander Ogondo and Canada's Aaron Brown. This would be Knighton's first Diamond League win. The meet was the final event for athletes to secure a place in the final. The American sprinter will be joined by Kara Winger, who set a Diamond League record in the women's javelin division at 68.11 meters. This would be Winger's final major championship before retirement. Let's talk about, could Knighton's career in track be a premonition? Experts are quick to draw comparisons based on time, accolades, and stats between Usain Bolt and Arion Knight, but fans notice that the two stars have a lot more in common than they had originally thought. Both sprinters started off their careers without thinking too much about track. Bolt wanted to be a cricketer and Knighton wanted to be a wide receiver. They were encouraged by respective coaches to try out for track, where both of them beat out other athletes who had been participating for years. Knighton told the BBC in 2022, quote, You could have asked me what 100 meter was, and I would not have known. I knew nothing about track. The American sprinter will be 20 years old by the time the Paris Games comes around. Knight mentioned how he would only be 28 by the time the next two Olympics concluded. According to him, that's something he thinks about a lot. On to other news. First up, what does Aaron Brown have to say about his Diamond League success? Toronto native Aaron Brown had been at Arion Knight's heels throughout the Diamond League events. Brown finished second to Knighton in the 100 meters in Lucerne, Switzerland, and earlier in August in a 200 meter race in Hungary while placing third behind Kensington at Diamond League Brussels on September the 2nd. At the final in Zurich, however, Brown said that he wanted to race blind and focus solely on his instincts. The Canadian sprinter went on to say that he was in better form at the final than he was at any point in the entire competition. Brown defeated Knighton, Kenny Badnerick, and defending champion Andre de Grasse at the 200 meter race, clocking in 20.02 seconds on the clock. Next, is Usain Bolt being sued? Since retiring in 2017, Bolt has been shifting his focus from track to business. The fastest man in the world co-founded the e-scooter company Bolt Mobility sometime late last year. However, the company eventually collapsed in July owing to a lack of funds, or so we're told. The company abandoned vehicles on the street in cities including Portland, Oregon, and Burlington, Vermont that became useless because they had to be unlocked through its apps. Besides littering the streets with unusual vehicles, Bolt's in hot water with his former employees who claimed they felt lied to and manipulated after the company shut down. Former Bolt Mobility employees revealed to the Post that they hadn't been paid all throughout June, with Bolt assuring them they'd receive their paychecks with back pay in July. However, when July rolled over, the ex-employees claimed they were blindsided by the fact that not only was the company shutting down, but that they wouldn't be paid for the full month of June and the partial month of July. Lastly, can Usain Bolt sue you? Michael has the jump man and Usain Bolt has the lightning bolt. Both athletes have signature victory poses and both poses have been immortalized with statues, logos, and such. But now, Bolt wants to take it a step further by trademarking his iconic pose. The sprinter submitted a patent application to the US Patent and Trademark Office in August of 2022. This was followed soon after by an image of himself in his iconic pose on Twitter with a caption that read, To the world, TM. 
Bolt also filed an application for his signature indicating that he plans to sell a number of products, including cosmetics, perfume, clothing, footwear, and headwear using it. His filing stated that he wants to open up a retail shop that would sell exclusively Bolt goods with his signature pose and his autograph. That's all for today's video. Do you think Knighton has what it takes to become the next Usain Bolt? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content you wouldn't want to miss. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya!